let's take a look at problem number two. The instructions are still uh, solved on this if I scroll up. Um, so we got um, x to the third plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 18 equals 0. And we want to solve this. Now, the one of the things the fundamental theorem of algebra tells us is that our largest power tells us how many answers we're going to have. So we're going to have three answers. Now, you can't always do this um, on every problem. Uh, some of them you have to use the intersect method on your calculator. But since this is four or more terms, I'm going to try factoring by grouping. So I group the first two terms together and the last two terms together. Now, I'm looking at only my first two terms, first group. They both have an x squared in common. So I can factor that out. And that leaves me x plus 2. Now my second group, the last two terms, have a 9 in common, and my, my first term is negative, so I'll factor out a negative 9. And that gives us x plus 2. Now since they both have an x plus 2, I can factor that out in front. And you can cross out the x plus 2's here to see what goes in your second set of parentheses, which is the x squared minus 9. So that first first one is grouping. The next one is the difference two squares. Two terms of minus three in it. And x times x gives you x squared, and three times three gives you the nine. So this factors as x plus three times x minus three equal to zero. Okay, zero factor property. It says you get zero on one side, you factor the other side, you're gonna set each factor equal to zero. So I'll set x plus 2 equal to 0, and x plus 3 equal to 0, and x minus 3 equal to 0. Now here I'll take 2 over, it gives me a negative 2. Here I'll take 3 over, it gives me a negative 3. And here I'll take negative 3 over and gives me a positive 3. And these would be my, my answers. Uh, plus or minus 3 and negative 2. Looks like b is in, b is in bill. So 2b. And um, it checks.